Hey Brain, hey brother, long view. Every single time you practice, think about the guitar player you want to be in five years. And think, the better I do my reps now, the quicker I get there. Nothing slows you down like speed, you know my mantra. So here's your exercises. You're going to first work on your hammer roll. Take the G string, two to four, and do a nice even. Not a grace note, an eighth note. Make sure your third finger is landing with a curve and it's landing clean every time. Move it up a fret. Be honest with yourself. After each break, imagine me doing one after each rep. Da da. Da da. Breathe. I'm not kidding. Breathing is a huge part of my piano practice routine. Otherwise, I get anxious and I practice badly. Then do the same thing on the D string. See, that wasn't clean. I hit a bumped a string. That was better. Okay, do two reps and move up. Leave a gap between them. Breathe. Okay, so that's your hammer on exercise. Then you have your five chord exercise. Um, start with D5. So your first finger is on the G string. Use your middle finger if it hurts. And you're playing just the fourth string and the third string. Absolutely nothing else. A slow chord of note. Don't start like this. You're going to miss stuff. Just one, two, three. If you're consistently getting this very perfectly or very cleanly, then go to eighth notes. But as soon as you hear, hit, hear that kind of shit, then restrain yourself back to a quarter note. Be honest. It should sound clear and full. It shouldn't sound muddy at all. And then have a little bit more fun, you can add the blues. And play come together. Here come old flat top, here come moving up. And I'm, I'm saying that in earnest because then you do the A5 chord, which is what come together uses next. So play the A5 the same way, quarter notes. Very slow. No notes being muted. Everything's thick and clear and even. Play the blues. Again, very restrained, very clear. So it's on the flat top. I know you. You know me. In fact, let's go ahead and drop D. Because coming together ends with a G5 chord, which is a flat finger at three. Just the low two, so it's. I'm serious about practicing the song, nice and slow. Slow. Oh, I'm fucking wrong. Sorry. Fifth fret. One thing I can tell you. You're just hitting six and five. So that's your last part of your exercise. Just hitting six and five together for your open strings. If you're in standard tuning, you can play E5 with the blues. So those are your two exercises, and then you're going to start playing the phrase without the hammer on, like this. One, two, three, four. Make sure you're landing on the A string, and they're totally equal beats, Tom. One, two, three, four. The second one culminates on the A. One, two, three, A. Don't cover the A string and mute it. You were doing that in the lesson. You want to get a nice, clear, fat-sounding A. One, two, three, A. And then to the open D power chord, but not too hard. One, two, three, D. Don't slug them just because they're open. They're going to rattle. So again, you the G string. One, two, three, four. D string. One, two, three, A. That was sloppy again. One, two, three, A. And then one, two, three, D. And then you can add the D chord back in like this. important because it's easy for you and it's not it's not a crucial part of the riff the other really crucial part of the riff is those high notes so that could be the next step you could go sorry I spaced out where am I okay I got it one two three top two fingers one two one two three A one two one two three D again D chord one two three
that's what I recommend for this week, buddy. Um, and then for this exercise, the, the solo um, in the changes exercise, do the triad, then the arpeggio, then the scale, make sure you start on the right roots on the second string with your first finger. And try to banish your pinky altogether and stretch your hand out. Okay, G, triad, arpeggio. A, triad, I mean arpeggio, scale, bend, that's right, I forgot, you should do that at each station too. That's it brother, have fun, practice slowly, take the long view.